Hi, I'm Maa Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make fermoza. Street food is arguably the best food in every country. It's a way to experience the culture like a local, and it's one of my favorite ways to discover any country I visit. When I first moved to Saudi Arabia, I was keen on trying all the street foods I could find. These delicious parcels stuffed with aromatic meat are found on carts and in little shops around the country. They're usually sold with a steamed version called mentu, which is very similar to a type of dumpling called menti made across Asia, the Caucasus, the Balkans, and Afghanistan. One of my favorite snacks was a portion of baked fermoza and steamed mentu, sprinkled with lots of hot sauce. My mouth is watering just thinking about this. It's believed that these foods, along with many others, were brought with the Afghan migrants and have become a part of the Saudi street food culture, along with many other popular street foods, such as the delicious bread tamiz and Bukhari rice. The main flavor of this dish comes from the filling. It's important to use good quality ingredients because they are few and you want each one to shine. I like using beef in mine as it has a milder flavor and it works well with the spices, but feel free to use lamb. While the dough is usually made from scratch in Saudi Arabia, many households use puff pastry as a shortcut for a quick and easy meal and I have to say it's definitely a good alternative and it makes these pastries one of my go-to lunchbox meals for the kids. It's important that the filling isn't dry, but also not too wet so you don't end up with soggy pastry, because that is probably the worst thing when it comes to puff pastry. Another important tip is to allow the filling to cool down completely before stuffing the puff pastry, to avoid the pastry melting and becoming hard to work with, as well as to avoid a soggy pastry. Roll them out slightly and once filled, you can fold these the way you like, but they're traditionally rectangular. Place them on a baking sheet and stick them in the fridge for at least 10 to 15 minutes so the butter can re-solidify and your puff pastry can puff up when baked. Bake until nice and golden and enjoy these delicious little parcels.